Hi, this is JP from Nota Lights Over Arkham. Uh, welcome to this how to use the customizable cards video uh, that I thought I would make because the uh, Skull Keys expansion or the Investigator expansion comes with a new type of card that is the customizable cards. So, without further delay, let's get started. So, uh, we have plenty of new investigator cards in this the Scarlet Keys investigator expansion. We have six new uh, investigators, one neutral and one for all of the other classes. Uh, a couple of new weaknesses, but uh, we also get a new type of card, which is the customizable cards. So, for example, let's pick one out from the Guardians, which is the Hunter's Armor. So Hunter's Armor is a focused asset, uh, item armor traded and customizable. And uh, the keyword here is the customizable. That means it has a uh, connecting uh, uh, upgrade sheet. So uh, we have this kind of sheet uh, and note that these have a different color card back. So you can't mix these into your deck if you are not using sleeves or use opaque sleeves. Uh, but uh, basically these are not that impressive. Like so, they are zero uh, experience cards. And uh, after you get some experience, you get the chance to upgrade them. How you upgrade them is by uh, dotting these boxes uh, filling them up uh, one experience per box. If there is like uh, two or three um, boxes, you have to spend the, all the experience to upgrade them. You can't partially upgrade a, a line. So for example, if I would upgrade Durable, which gives the Hunter's Armor plus two health, uh, you need to have two experience to upgrade this. If I have two copies of the Hunter's Armor in my deck, I only need to upgrade once to upgrade both of them. All the um, associated copies of Hunter's Armor use the same upgrade um, card. So you can't mix and match and you don't have to keep track which is <laughs> upgraded. Uh, how, because both of, uh, both of them are upgraded the same way. Uh, uh, FFG was generous to give us uh, three copies of each um, upgrade sheet. This is if you are marking straight onto the cards. Uh, of course, if you are marking straight onto the cards, then um, these might be <laughs> worn out pretty soon uh, if you play a lot. So they offer a solution for this by having printable copies on their web page. I hate printing out stuff. Uh, so my solution for this is to sleeve these upgrade cards in an opaque sleeve, uh, which is not a matte uh, service sheet. So I can mark on this, on this uh, sleeve. And to mark, I am using uh, just a normal dry erase marker. Uh, this is for whiteboards. And you could get some other kinds of these, uh, but keep in mind that these should be uh, water-based, so you can erase them with water or just by wiping. So, for example, if I'm upgrading the durable, I'll just dot uh, the both boxes on the durable here, and now it is upgraded for durable. Then, if I um, use one more experience, I could upgrade this uh, enchanted um, and now it is upgraded then um, I can keep this with my deck then after I am done with the deck and the campaign I am playing <coughs> I can just erase this so to erase this this is quite easy to rub off so I can just erase it with my finger but uh, when I'm using these um, this doesn't wipe up uh, really easy. You need to have a bit uh, moisture to your finger to 
get it off. And you could uh, also use a uh, uh, wet napkin or something like that to uh, get it all out. Of course, if you are using a marker that uh, doesn't come off uh, that easily, you can just buy penny sleeves or something cheaper that I am using. I am actually using um, katana sleeves, uh, which are ultimate guard sleeves. They are not that <laughs> cheap, so I'm, I'm just hoping to have this for a long time to use with my upgrade cards, so I can keep using the same sleeve over and over again. And that is basically it. So, uh, just going through the rules of the upgrading. Um, so, if you are wondering what is the level of the card, it is uh, the level of the upgrade boxes um, halved and rounded up. So, if I would have three dots on the hunter's armor, that would mean it's a two experience card. So you need to keep that in mind when you're upgrading, because you can't upgrade the uh, upgradable or the customizable card over the limit that your investigator can use. So for example, uh, mm, quick uh, example, well, uh, Schizo Tool can use uh, level 2 guardian cards. So. If I would upgrade Hunter's Armor more than four dots, uh, skits couldn't use that. Other thing you need to remember is that if you are upgrading the card, you can only have ever ten uh, boxes checked out, because that means it's a five experience card and can't have any more uh, dots marked on it. You can't erase old marks and uh, replace them with new ones. Uh, so keep that in mind when you are selecting which dots you are upgrading. And uh, uh, you can basically only upgrade cards between scenarios. So not during a scenario. And that is basically it. Nothing that special. Uh, there are a lot of combination on this card. So just looking at the Hunter's Armor. This is maybe the most simple uh, one I, I can think of. Just... Um, adding uh, Durapan and Hallowed for it, for example, makes it a, a two experience card with health pool of four and four, which is quite good for a four cost asset that takes up some body slots. But there are really spicy combinations to be ha made with these, so uh, try them out. Uh, I'm Definitely going to try these customizable cards a bit when I'm uh, building my first um, the Scarlet Keys Investigator decks and look forward to a couple of video series coming out soon enough where I will play some of these new investigators through probably the Dreamlands or, or the Dream Eaters campaign. But that is everything I wanted to say about the customizable cards. Hope you guys. Uh, got some good information about these cars and how they function. Thanks for watching and until next time.